A cutting-edge kidney transplant could signal the cure for organ failure, and the sun has come into greater focus than ever before. Welcome back to Good News. We're here to restore your faith in humanity. The world has been full of good stories you just haven't heard about, from a project that might save the ocean's coral reefs to a monumental malaria vaccine. Stay tuned as we bring you the best of positive news from around the world. We start with a young man stuck underneath a bus. An 18-year-old was on the verge of being crushed to death after his arm was caught underneath a metro bus. As soon as the situation became clear, passengers got off and rushed to help. The video shows dozens of onlookers joining the effort as well. Soon, there were almost 40 people working in unison to lift the bus, weighing around 11 tons. Miraculously, the group was able to pull the victim from underneath the bus. Two nurses and a surgeon happened to be on the scene and gave the man medical attention. He was then rushed to a hospital and underwent an urgent procedure for his arm. A German news station reported that he was perplexed and confused by the horrific injury, but that he was later released from the hospital. Pedestrians who helped have been described as heroes by the police and media. It's a reminder that complete strangers can often work together in an emergency. A discovery more than three years in the making is changing how we manage our coral reefs. Despite making up less than a tenth of a percent of the ocean, coral reefs provide a home for 25% of all marine species. These complex ecosystems are more than just a house, though. They also act as barriers to shorelines, protecting them from floods and waves. Despite this crucial role, coral reefs are at risk. Pollution, fishing, mining, and a host of other human activities are killing coral reefs all over the world. A major effect of climate change is that coral reefs are being covered with layers of macroalgae, which stop them from growing properly. Scientists at James Cook University in Australia aim to change all of that. In 2018, they began removing the macroalgae from two reef sites, a process called seaweeding. Up until now, most investment has been directed towards finding high-tech solutions for reef restoration. But this team was hoping that just like removing weeds from your garden, seaweeding might prove to be an effective way of rehabilitating coral reefs. After three years of observation, the study has been published, and the results are remarkable. In the areas that were weeded, researchers found more coral diversity, less macroalgae, and up to 600% more regrowth. The implications for this are huge. It means that careful human management can and does help marine ecosystems to heal. Even small-scale actions like weeding the reefs can have a big impact on the health of the coral. On land in the United States, another living organism promises to provide treatment for a range of illnesses too. The state of Oregon has made psilocybin available to all patients. Psilocybin is a drug found in mushrooms and can be used to treat mental illness. The first service center in the United States has opened its doors this year. Psilocybin, better known as magic mushrooms, has been used in societies for thousands of years for rituals, symbolism, and most of all, healing. Medical research is now backing that up. Several studies suggest that psychoactive drugs like psilocybin are effective in treating mental illness, including depression, addiction, and and anxiety. Scientists believe that it may work by increasing connections in the brain, changing emotional processing for as long as a month after just a single dose. The biggest psilocybin study found that around half of alcoholics stopped drinking completely within months of taking the drug. For years, though, this kind of research has lagged behind sluggish drug policy. However, in a major step forward, Colorado has become the first state to legalize and regulate both psilocybin and mescaline, another naturally occurring psychedelic. Even the Food and Drug Administration is catching up, describing psilocybin as a breakthrough therapy. Specific rules and guidelines will be developed before the law comes into effect in 2024. There are so far 10 service centers, many of which have a long waiting list of eager participants. Patients are monitored for at least six hours until the drug wears off and are accompanied by specially trained facilitators. Medicine is slowly opening us up to new possibilities for treatment, and some of those might come from animals usually used for food. Researchers at the University of Alabama have transplanted pig kidneys into a human, and incredibly, they appear to function just as normal. These aren't average pig kidneys. They weren't taken from a normal farm animal. Instead, they've been carefully gene-edited to cross-match the organs with the human patient. This was to maximize the chances of compatibility. It's called xenotransplantation, and this kind of procedure could offer a new source of life-saving organs. The pigs are housed in a specialized facility that is regularly tested for pathogens, viruses, or anything else that could be harmful to humans. Earlier experiments had shown that after connecting to the bladder, arteries, and veins, pig organs were usually rejected by the human body. 
In the University of Alabama study, though, they were able to produce urine and clear waste product known as creatinine, which is an important job of the kidneys. In other words, the kidneys were working just like a human's. The results are backed up by a similar study by the NYU Langone team, who completed the same operation and kept the organs functioning for two months, the longest ever xenotransplant to date. Over 170,000 people die each year from kidney cancer. With the help of genetic engineering, animal organs can be made compatible with humans and save many of these lives. While pig organs are a long-term project in Africa, one medical advancement is already saving millions of lives. A collection of humanitarian groups have promised to distribute 18 million doses of the first ever malaria vaccine to Africans in desperate need. Malaria is one of the deadliest diseases in the world, and has been killing people for thousands of years. In 2021, there were around 247 million cases of malaria, with over 600,000 dying from it. Tragically, malaria is preventable and curable with the right medicine, but in Africa, lack of access leads to hundreds of thousands of deaths every year. The hot weather in sub-Saharan Africa makes it a breeding ground for the type of mosquito that causes malaria, which is why 95% of the cases are concentrated here. COVID only made things worse, with malaria cases climbing to over 13 million more than in previous years. The first verified vaccine for malaria was released in 2019. After four doses, the vaccine has a 95% efficacy against clinical malaria. This is a game changer for African countries, meaning that children can be vaccinated and then live without fear. UNICEF, the World Health Organization, and a group of African development programs have been coordinating to deliver as many of these vaccines as possible. 18 million doses will be rolled out over the next two years alone. The vaccine is projected to save tens of thousands of lives every year. In our final story, one scientist made a hack to a billion dollar spacecraft that allows for even deeper observation into our solar system's single and most important star. As the biggest force behind our climate, seasons, and oceans, life wouldn't be possible without the sun. But because of its intense temperatures, which reach up to 14 million degrees Celsius at its center, the sun is incredibly difficult to observe and image. Powerful telescopes on Earth can only go so far. Light is absorbed by our planet's atmosphere before it makes it to most of our instruments. That's why the Solar Orbiter's EUI camera is a breakthrough. Solar Orbiter is a spacecraft launched in 2020 to make detailed observations and send high-resolution images back to Earth. These data have already uncovered new discoveries like miniature flares and picojets of energy that could be powering solar winds. Solar Orbiter is equipped with 10 specialized instruments. One of those is the EUI, which stands for Extreme Ultraviolet Imager, and is especially designed to study the structure of the sun. These images were already high resolution, but a last minute hack from one of the lead scientists has made the instrument even more powerful. As far as technological innovations go, this was a simple one. He found that placing a small jam in the safety door acted like a thumb. Just like blocking out the brightest part of the sun with your hand, using this device blocks half of the shutter and allows the camera to see much further. In fact, millions of times stronger, picking up tiny rays of ultraviolet light. It just goes to show that some of the best innovations come from simple problem solving, not billions of dollars in resources. Would you ever consider receiving kidneys from a pig? And do you think magic mushrooms are a breakthrough mental health treatment? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see and hear more about other uplifting news, you should check out our last video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.